in a place that is believed to be the origin of modern day polo manipur the state of manipur is the birthplace of some very unique sports from rugby with coconuts sports with weapons and even hockey on horses no i'm not talking about polo because there is a much older horse in this stable and it's called tagol kanje which is believed to be the origin of modern day polo you don't believe me well let's go hear it from the man who isn't just horsing around this is ibungu chobe the secretary of the manipuri pony society I'm just fascinated by the sport of polo. How was the game back then and how has it evolved? Has it been drastic or marginal changes have been made? My father told me in his days there was no rule. I can pick the ball up and score. However, when you catch the ball, the entire body is a ball. So my opponent can hit the part of the body. So you have to run away from them. But today the international way of polo is very civilized. Of course, there are rules and regulations. After Sagol Kamje was introduced to British military officer Lieutenant Joseph Ford Sherer in Manipur, the game made its way to the west where people began playing it with mallets and a ball. Modern polo is played on a field that is 300 yards long by 160 yards wide, played with two teams of four players each. But this game is played on a much smaller ground with some different rules and some very different equipment. our young soldiers were playing sagol kangje in assam during which the uh, east india company officers noticed those matches they took polo from that very game sagol kangje can be traced back to around 3000 bc and it is believed that its strokes were developed through arambai a deadly warfare tactic of throwing poisonous darts from every angle while riding a horse and not just any horses the manipuri had a special breed of ponies that they used for arambai and polo so in manipur polo is played exclusively on the manipuri ponies and how are they different from other breeds of horses because that's not the case around the world the land that you see in manipur we are a lake strain valley it's a water body of course. so our all horses they survive on the wetland the breed is so strong that they can survive any kind of climatic condition manipuri people really love their ponies so much so that they have a temple for marjing the god of horses and they believe that they will receive blessings of prosperity and good health by praying here so they... 